Hey guys, Anthony here for Rev3 Games. I got Graham with me from Drinkbox Studios. Uh, we are about to play Guacamelee. Now, the last time we saw this was uh, PAX last year? PAX East, yeah. PAX East. So uh, let's jump in and you can show me what's new with Guacamelee. All right. And if anybody hadn't caught our PAX demo, tell us a little bit about Guacamelee. All right, so it's a Metroidvania brawler, essentially. That's the easiest way to describe it. But uh, it has a couple twists. Uh, this chicken is going to tell you how to how to roll and dodge, so you can use the right stick to to roll. Yeah, uh, I love that they say <laughs> "dude" with the two O's. <laughs> nice reference. Yeah, so you can see uh, the main character is a luchador. The game is mm -hmm. set in Mexico. Uh, we draw a lot of the inspiration of, for the different areas and the different characters, the bosses, uh, and the environments from Mexican folklore, Mexican culture. Uh, here's a Day of the Dead altar, that's our save point, but it's okay. also like a store, you can go in, you can buy stuff. We don't have any money yet, Okay. Uh, but later on in the demo we'll be able to buy some stuff. Uh, so what we're showing here is uh, it's a demo that's part of one of the levels of the game. It's about half an hour, 45 minutes into the game, you'll come to this area. Uh, it's the first temple that you'll come to. Uh, you get to the front of the temple, you can see it's closed, mm -hmm. so there's a portal up here that we can jump through. And this brings us into the world oh, wow. of the dead. Uh, so the whole game world, it, uh, it takes place in this overlapping universe where there's like the world of the living and the world of the dead. And okay. this is the first time when the player starts going into the world of the dead. Uh, and do you, have, do you have different powers in each? Different enemies can be hurt in different situations, that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. So through the course of the demo, we'll start to explore some of the different things, the differences between the, the two different worlds. Uh, in the demo, we've unlocked a couple of powers. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this from PAX, and it's the best. Chicken power. Yeah, so the chicken is kind of like a way that you can squeeze through smaller tunnels. It's similar to like Metroid's Morphal. So this is one of the mini bosses of the game. Her name is Shtabai. Uh, she's kind of like a foul temptress. Uh, she uses her sexuality to lure men. And uh, chickens. And chickens, yeah. She's one of the henchmen of Carlos Calaca, and she's like the guardian of this temple. I love the look of the whole thing. Just that kind of like 60s illustrative. Yeah. Mixed with like all of the Mexican iconography. Yeah, Mexico has like a lot of bright colors, and we're trying to draw a lot from that kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha, double entendres. So you can you, attack as a chicken. Yeah, you can, you can fight as a chicken. They don't do very much damage, but Whatever. it's definitely possible. <laughs> Could I potentially play through this entire game as a chicken? No, you don't get the chicken power until about halfway through. Uh, oh. What do I keep doing? So, the way you quit out of the game is uh, if you push R1. Okay. So, yeah. Either of us can do that at any time. Okay. Uh, and then you gotta punch the bubble to bring it back in. So you have you have your basic punch uh, on square. You have X to jump, and yeah. if you push up in circle, you'll do like a gotcha a, a power move or a circle on its own will give you like a headbutt. Yeah. Okay. So all of those powers are in the main game. Those are powers they would unlock as part of the story, but you start with them here. So now we can actually buy something here. Maybe we can buy like a a new wrestling move, like yeah. a power driver. Yeah. <laughs> oh snap, look at this guy. So this guy, he's, he's, uh, he's an Alabrije, and uh, Alabrijes are based on Mexican folk art from the 1930s. They still make them today out of paper mache. Okay. Uh, all right, so this is the first time the player would have met an enemy that's invincible in the current dimension. Okay. So then we do one of these. Yeah. So how do I do my uh, my grapples here? All right. So once you've weakened the guy, yeah, like uh, get the triangle above his head. Okay. You push triangle to grab him, and then if you want to do the pile driver, you push down in circle after you've grabbed him. Gotcha. And how many, like, how in depth does does this get with like the wrestling moves? Like, how many different things can we unlock? How many different techniques are there? 
There's, well, there's, we have a distinction between the wrestling moves, the throws and the grapples, and the, the, the super moves, like the uppercut and slam. Okay. Uh, some of them are unlocked through just playing through the story, and we'll actually unlock one as part of this demo. Uh, and some of, them, some of them are locked in the store. Um, so there's about four different grab moves, and there's about 10 different super moves on top of that. Okay. Uh, Gotta get, there we go. Oh, yeah, you did it. That's awesome. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, the roll is your primary defensive move. Okay. Uh, so when you, whenever you see an enemy about to attack, you can usually roll through the attack. Gotcha. Wow. It's just chilling. Yeah. Not bothered. <laughs> so this is why Chivo. He's he's also based on a Mexican uh, folklore of a guy who a man who can turn into a goat. Okay. Um, and he's. I love that he has Chozo statues. Yeah, yeah. He's sorry, Chozo statues, <laughs> Nintendo. Chozo statues. We would never, <laughs> never. So he's he's going to teach you a new move called the goat jump. Okay. <laughs> He says some of his friends call it wall jump, but it didn't feel a goatee enough. You know? Gotcha. So I'd imagine now we're, we, we're starting to get to the point where we can leap off things, grab people in the air. Yeah, so now we can get to parts of the temple that we couldn't get to before. Okay. Uh, so now the monster's gone. Uh, but when we first came through here, we couldn't go this way. But now with the wall jump, we can do this. Nice. I turned into a chicken because that's how I feel safest. <laughs> I'll probably right. remain a chicken for a while. If that's all right. So now we we came up in this room originally, but we right. couldn't progress upwards. Okay. Uh, in the full game, there's actually another door over here where you go in and you get the headbutt move. Uh, okay. But for the sake of the demo, we we took that out. So once you've unlocked both of those two powers, you can come up here and break this and then progress through the rest of the temple. So is there, um, is there any difference between player one and player two other than aesthetically? Uh, no, they have all the same moves. Okay. Yeah. She, she tends to do more kicking than punching when she's doing her super moves, but... Uh... Oh, now he's back. Now yeah. he's bothered. Now he's not. So these guys are best to try and avoid. Okay. <laughs> With you can roll through them if you're. They'll block you if you try and run through them. But if okay. You roll, you're... Feeling good about this time. Well, yeah, we got it this time. So you can see the glowing uh, squares where uh, when you swap through the dimensions. Yeah. I gotta say the whole thing looks. Um, shinier than it did last year, for sure. Yeah. You guys have added a lot of little visual details and effects. Yeah, definitely a lot of polish has been going in. You can see all the, like, the dust every time the monster takes a step. And... I don't even care about you guys. <laughs> Graham told me not to care. <laughs> if you connect your, you can connect your Vita with remote play to the PS3 version when it's running, and it, uh, you can use it as a controller. You can, uh, it, it'll always display the mini map. All the nice. time, so you don't have to pause again to see the mini map. I love the Mario, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I can be your princess. Oh, okay, buddy. Yeah. Uh, so when will the game be coming out? Do you guys have a date yet? Uh, we submitted to Sony Cert last week, so okay. depending how that goes, uh, it could be pretty soon. People could so. be playing it right now. Probably not right now, right? <laughs> not yet, no, not yet. Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, we just have to pass Cert and then submit it to Sony, so it's couple months away. Okay. Pretty close, yeah. Very we don't cool. have a firm date yet. But yeah. All right, and if people are going to be at, uh, at PAX next week, yeah. there's a demo there that they can check out. That's right. They can play this demo for themselves. Uh, we're part of the Indie Mega Booth, like right on the corner, so awesome. it should be easy to find. Yeah, definitely check out the Indie Mega Booth if you're at PAX. A lot yeah. of good stuff there. Yeah. Awesome. Graham, thank you so much for coming and showing this off. No problem. Thanks, Anthony. Yep. Uh, if you want to find out more, you guys are drinkboxstudios.com. That's right, yeah. Awesome. And be sure to subscribe. <laughs>